Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you Adobe Firefly. Firefly is AI image generator that allows you to create images from text, apply generative fill, change a part of the image using AI. It also offers some other cool features such as text effects, recoloring, and turning 3D into the image. Firefly is not a new tool, but Adobe recently released the second generation of AI model capable of creating more realistic images. You can see here the image to the left was created using the first gen Firefly, and the image to the right was created using the second gen. The image that Gen 2 generates have more visual details, and it applies both to images of people and objects, like leaves and raindrops. Let's try the tool and see how it works for common tasks, such as creating photos of people and illustrations of objects. The first prompt that I want to write is a portrait of a woman. By default, Firefly creates a set of four images. As you can see, Firefly did an excellent job generating a portrait of a woman. Let's take a closer look at one of the pictures. I simply love the quality of hair in this image. And you also can spot some very interesting details, such as mimics and very realistic teeth. All images in this set are very realistic, almost like photos of real people. Now let's generate a set of new images, and this time I will change a few settings. The third thing I want to change will be the aspect ratio. By default, you get 1 to 1 square images, but I will change it to something different, such as landscape, which is 4 to 3. And I will also change the content type. By default, we have photos, but I will go with the art, which is basically illustration. Once I switch the style to art, my selection becomes visible in the prompt bar. Let's create a portrait of a young man. And another cool thing about Firefly is that it offers prompt suggestions. Many have experienced problem writing decent prompts, so Adobe found a very interesting solution to this problem. It suggests some prompts and ideas once you start typing. Firefly generated a set of images for us, and they all illustrations. The images look very similar, so if for some reason you don't like this style, you will need to generate a new set. Let me change the type back to photo and generate a new set. What I don't like about the images in this particular set is that people are wearing watches. I want to remove watches from the wrist. How can I do it? I can mention what I don't want to see in the images using the setting called exclude from the image. If you're familiar with the concept of negative prompts, you know how this feature works. AI engine uses the information in this section when it generates the images. So let's mention watches and generate a new set. Interestingly, Firefly doesn't always strictly follow the instructions. And here you can see that the watches are still on the human wrist. Let's do another try. And this time, instead of a plural, I will add a tag watch. And if you think that the word might not be clear to AI, I mean, Firefly might consider the watch not as a wearable device, but rather a human watching something. It's not the case because I faced the same problem when I generated a man walking in the rain. AI generated images of a man holding an umbrella. And then I tried to remove the umbrella and Firefly could remove the object only after the third attempt. And here, as you can see, two out of four images still have the problem. However, watch is more like a smart watch now. Let's try another example. Suppose I want to generate a 3D illustration of a building in particular style. Let's remove extra settings since we don't need them anymore and choose a style for our imagery. I want to go with Synthwave. It's a, like a pink neon style that conveys a sense of a retro future. That's what I've got. It's not ideal, but it looks kind of fine to me. The next feature is creating images in particular style. And I will choose a style of Marc Chagall. This painting is called Big Circus. To make Firefly create image in specific style, we'll need to upload the image. Adobe will tell us that we should have the rights to use the image. And once we upload the image, it will be visible along with the prompt. The result is quite good. Images were generated in the Chagall style. Now let's see if Firefly has problem with human hands. Tools like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion are notorious for adding extra fingers to human hands. So if Firefly doesn't have this problem, it will be a major competitive advantage. Let's write a prompt human hand and let's change the aperture to make the background of the image more blurry. As you can see, human hands are far from perfect. Some images have extra visual noise. Other images show a hand that has three fingers instead of five, and the wrong proportions of the fingers on this image. 
And the last thing that I want to show you is Generate a Fill. This feature allows changing the part of the image without using Photoshop. We can use brush to select the area that we want to change. In my case, I will select the sweater and change it to the pink one. It takes quite some time for the tool to generate options. And from three options that I see here, only the third option is decent. The first and second options have visual defects. The final thing that I want to talk about is pricing. Firefly offers both free and paid plans. The free plan provides only 25 credits per month, which is not enough if you want to use this tool on a regular basis. Each operation, like image generation or adding visual effects, will cost you one credit. So you will need to choose a premium plan that offers 100 credits, remove the watermarks and gives you 100 gigabytes of storage space and it will cost you $5. So, that's all for now. Let me know what you think about Firefly and whether it will be a strong competitor for tools like Midjourney or Dali. Thank you.